Meet our first lot of guests. Yeah. yeah. You want to do this thing? Okay, now there's arguments, there is makeups, make outs, there's violence, there's death, there's sex, there's posh kids, there's white kids, there's black kids, there's exam results, there's even Bill Bailey and a dancing dog. How would you like them apples? I'm not actually talking about Ortiz Canteen. No, folks, this is E4's <laughs> top <laughs> drama skins, and we have got three of them. Please welcome, show us your hand, Larissa, Mike, and Daniel. <laughs> Daniel, and you're welcome. Can we just have that eh, again? It's from them lot over there. As well. I think is, that was for you as well. Is it safe to say we have a few Skins fans in the house? It's official. Yeah. Just a little Chicky bit. from the centre. You don't seem phased at all, but you're not here. This attention, this adulation. Listen, there will be some people who might know Skins. Liam gave it a good description, but give us your explanation as to the, what this it's gr saucy gritty stuff. teen drama is about. Take it away. The onus is on yourself. And you can spit it. <laughs> <laughs> the poor girl's eating it. Oh, <laughs> filthy. <laughs> oh, hey, man, oh. We pretend that never happened. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, skins is just about a group of teenagers. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about a group of teenagers and their life and how they lead it really and about them growing up and the problems you, you experience as a teenager and how you bond as well. Okay, tell us about each of your characters then, maybe in some of the problems that you guys have faced. What's uh, Sid um, like? My character is a very uncomfortable person, looks up to his best friend and loves his best friend's girlfriend and Ooh. then starts to fall in love with this other girl and then the second series, so it really nice happens and his dad dies. And, uh, <laughs> which is up. very nice. And then he's just basically kind of recover that and get his best friend back. And, uh, yeah, we kind of left that at okay. episode eight now. So. so fairly kind of true to life yeah. stuff perhaps? Um, Maybe to someone else, not to me. Not to you. No. Doesn't reflect on your life. You didn't no, have a no. teenage upbringing like that. No, 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 no. Okay, how about you? Um, my character, Jal, basically a very mature character. Can be too serious sometimes. You just need to let her down, really. A great group of friends. She's kind of the mother of all of her friends. Everyone who turns to her, she often deals with a problem to herself because she doesn't have a mum. And then series two, she falls in love, gets a boyfriend, kind of relaxes a bit, starts to open up, and um, yeah, so it's a bit. More exciting, lets the hair down really. Oh, I like how you're kind of ending it there, you know, it's like you're not going to tell us something. Mm. Oh, we'll be yeah. revealed. <laughs> Daniel, Daniel, what about Posh Kenneth? Posh Kenneth is a crazy, crazy character. He's, he's, like, he's just one of them guys that just pops in to add like energy and comic relief to a scene and stuff and to an episode. He's just very like, it's one of those characters that hasn't been explored, but I think it's good because it's, he's, he's just what it is and he's just the joke that comes in sometimes once in a while. He's the comic relief? Yes. Okay. Now, yeah. for you guys as as actors, because of the, that's what you are now, were you always that way? And and how did the the gig come about? Because I mean, you're all quite young. I um, you know you're nearly twenty, but the rest of you guys yeah. are about eighteen, are you? Yeah. Um, I was at college, and basically the casting directors just kind of came in. We were, didn't expect it, and just auditioned us all. And then like six auditions afterwards, I got the part. So it was a bit of like a, it was very lucky, really. So. And did you have any idea going into the auditions that the content was going to be like that? That it was going to be this raucous, wild, debaucherous stuff that we'd all love? The first draft of the first episode, the first series, there was a lot more swearing. Let's talk about Skins Parties. Because from the screen it's kind of transferred into real life. We've heard all these stories about uh, teenagers advertising their parties, hundreds of people yeah. showing up and wrecking their parents' and gas. Breaks loose. Yeah. So um, you guys are uh, responsible for that. Yeah. Not you personally, maybe. It's great. Have it was you been to a it. skins party? What, a real one? Or yeah, a set a real one? one. What, the skins parties mm. that they have? They, yeah, they're wicked. Skins so they do parties. exist? No, 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 in real life. No! I've been no. to one, I've been to one before skins came out. Though. I get the feeling we're kind of blowing the lid on something. Do you? No! <laughs> yeah. I meant to... I meant to... I meant to... I meant to... I I mean, the skins party that are organised, obviously, is well organised. You have security there and stuff. But people that advertise the house parties, no. Never been to a party like no, that before. No, no, we, we don't actually have really good lives are actually very dull. Yeah, my mum. Can yeah. we ask you quickly, what did your own parents think of seeing you guys on TV being teenagers, warts and all? My mum just gets, she's yeah. just like, you oh, swear so much. But other than that, she's pretty good with it. My parents are really cool. My parents are right with it. I don't really talk to them about it. Kind of don't watch it with them. <laughs> so you're just a proper teen anyway, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, man. Yeah. 
Uh, what about your mum, Dan? Now, the unfortunate thing is, before we finish, uh, season two, when it finishes, that means it's the end of you guys because there's going to be a change of cast. Is that right? Yeah. It's a oh. big turnover. You're all gone. I mean, will you be reoccurring in any way? Or? Well, that's up to him, because he writes He's it. He's the writer. Yeah. You. So you write me a decent part. Um, <laughs> um, no, no, it's just everyone. It's, it's the end. It's the end. When you see like the last two episodes that are going to come out like next two weeks, if you see that characters naturally end, and if we were going to do it first series, it would be not natural for the characters, and it would, it would just be like story, story, story. Well, yeah, fair it's like enough. the two okay. years of college, and really, and after two years, you, you move on. on. Yeah, so yeah. it's just really that. Thanks, well, Dan. You're yeah. unemployed now. That's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> Put yeah. each other out of a job. We wish you well, whatever you do, but stick around for the second part of the show. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Lovely. you. Sorry, Steve, 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 Steve,